So here's the Little Pie House. It indeed mm -hmm. is little. Mm -hmm. uh, we got our entrance over there to the right. You see the circular drive where he pulled through. And right behind us, we've got what they call servants' quarters on both sides. You see that little property. And the guest house here. And a guest house. Guest mm -hmm. house. Okay. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. President of the United States died in this house on April the 12th, 1945. You got it on video, right? <laughs> and he made 41 trips in all to uh, one point. All right, Dave. Okay. I would cut it off until we see what's going on in here. Yeah, it's too dark. I wouldn't try to video in here. Okay. This is where FDR was Sitting, of course, you, you don't have to mm -hmm. worry about the little thing, get the chair. He was sitting there when the Russian uh, artist was painting his portrait. Mm -hmm. Mr. Matov. And she didn't complete it. It's called no. Unfinished Portrait. Portrait, yeah. and it's in the Legacy she Museum. It, she put it up and never touched it again. Mm -hmm. And then the following year, she came back using her memory and photographs, and she did a finished portrait. Okay, and that's so also both, in the Legacy. Those, uh -huh. Okay. She did, it, she did it in two different color ties, because the unfinished portrait, he, the, the neck tie is red, and the finished portrait, the neck tie is blue. This is the bedroom. He was carried to this room after he collapsed. He was in that chair that we know you don't have to point with it. After he collapsed, he was brought here at 3.35 and pronounced dead. No, he was pronounced dead at 3.35. And then his body was taken to Washington, D.C. the very next day on April 13, 1945. And he's buried in Hyde Park, New York in the Rose Garden. Okay, this is his desk. So it was custom built for him by a company in Toledo, Ohio, presented to him on his 58th birthday. Yeah. Dad got the Ford Ranger last night. Look what FDR got back in his day. <laughs> this car was used by the president's staff and later driven by the Georgia Warm Springs Foundation. So it's quite fascinating. Gonna get me. Baby, you can drive my car. Today, okay, as you can see, this is the unfinished portrait painted by the Russian uh, artist. You can see how it's unfinished, but she, she came back and completed the portrait, so there's a separate, a second one. That's the completed version, the finished portrait. We'll find it in a moment. Oh, here. So this is what she was intending to paint right here. So she came back. And with photographs and her memory, she completed the portrait. But he was actually sitting for that first portrait when he had the cerebral brain hemorrhage and died. So this would have been what it would have looked like. But she came back. Her name was Madame Shumatov, a Russian lady. So this is a flag that was flying over the home when he died, and then. It was placed on the, his coffin, back up, Kate, and, and then the coffin was loaded into a train the next day, and uh, the body was uh, sent back to Washington. This is part of American history, Kate. 